Hey friends, welcome, I'm Rebecca, and today we're doing a nice yin flow, and we're going to focus mostly on the legs. It is full body, but we're gonna do lots of openings through the back of the leg. And so if you haven't done yin yoga before, where we hold the postures three minutes, sometimes a minute or a minute and a half, up to eight minutes. We pressurize the joints, the connective tissue, and we open them up to encourage the blood flow into those areas so we can get into the connective tissue. Sometimes if you have soreness in the body, it's because the connective tissue restricts the musculature and also the joints don't have enough nourishment. So the yin flow really encourages that. We want to find an edge and work the edge so it feels good, you feel a stretch, but you're not feeling any pain. If you're here for the first time, welcome. I'm Rebecca and this is Body Illumination. I'm using the yoga strap, but you're welcome to modify without anything, or you could use something like a belt or maybe a piece of clothing and tie it in knots and make it into a nice loop. I'm also gonna use this little Pilates ball and you can use just a little rubber ball that your kids might have or you might have. I'm using blocks. So if you have four blocks, grab those blocks. So if you're ready to really invite those changes into your body and feel amazing, Meet me on the mat. Okay, friends, let's just pause here. Invite in the quiet, allowing the breath, allowing the new energy with simple, simple awareness. Let's go ahead and set an intention for your practice. Find what you want to cultivate, love, abundance, maybe more flexibility in your body. Inhale, lift the spine. Exhale, move from one sit bone to another. Maybe allow a spiral in your spine. Reach your hands to your heart in Anjali Mudra and just notice the stillness. Okay, beautiful. Let's move into our first pose, dangling. Come to stand and hang over your legs. Release the spine into the earth, reaching your chest towards your thighs, relaxing your hamstrings. Allow gravity to simply elongate the spine. You can use your blocks here or grab opposite hand to opposite elbow. Notice the considerable bend in my legs. Bend your legs as much as you need to, allowing your chest to melt onto your thighs. Play with your unique expression of this pose, opening the backside of the body and the urinary bladder. Also helpful for the liver, spleen, and kidney lines. Inhale, turning your world upside down, invite in new changes. Exhale, just letting go.
So when you hear those chimes, we are at the conclusion of our posture. Okay, my friends, walk your hands towards the earth and lunge the right leg back for a dragon. Take your hands to the inside of the left leg on the earth or use your props. I am taking a block underneath the thigh for a deeper opening through the right hip and groin. Then allow the hip to sink and flex the foot to increase the opening in the hip flexors. Guide your hips back and the right leg and direct your right foot behind you and then slide it under your hips as you allow yourself to have a seat and straighten the left leg face towards the extended leg and then begin to explore bowing forward with props or lifting the hips up with props in front of you or lifting the hips up. Connect to your inhale and open the back side of the leg and the spine. Then exhale and ease into the shape.
Okay, let's gently come up and find your strap. If you are going to use the strap, I recommend starting with a large loop. One variation of this pose is using the loop as a head hammock, and you are welcome to modify without it. So let's lower yourself into the ground. Take your loop around yourself as a necklace and guide the left foot into the loop right onto the arch and then bend the knee and loop the other end of the strap around the occipital ridge of your head where the base of your head meets its spine right near that hairline and feel free to play with the stretch of the lifted leg and feel the tractioning through the back of the neck, releasing loads and loads of micro trauma. If this is too intense, please take your head out of the hammock. With each breath, bring awareness and neuromuscular sensory information back into this area. Listen very, very closely to your body. And if you need to lower your upper body into the earth and continue with the leg stretch with the strap or simply lie flat and explore a rebound pose. Okay, yogis, when you are ready, let's slowly change sides. Let's bend the right leg, slide the foot out and take the right foot into the strap. Readjust the strap, allowing the breath to cascade through the layers of musculature deep into the connective tissue. 
again, adjusting it behind your head as a, a neck hammock or not. And feel yourself reopening old energy pathways and also new ones. Beautiful. That was heavenly. Let's release the leg. And then roll over onto your belly. Press your hands into the earth and come up and open the front side of the body into a seal. Pushing your hands down into the earth and extending your arms, lifting your chest opening the front side of your body and maybe experiment with props or drop onto the forearms for a sphinx. Inhale and reawaken the spine in the front side of the body, allowing the energy and the breath. Exhale and just feel yourself suspended in this beautiful posture. Thank you. 
slowly float your hips back into your heels and join me in a child's pose. Resting your chest on your thighs. Rest here with your arms melting down by your side or reaching forward. Okay, my yogis, I offer you a variation here. You can stay in child just as you are or come on up and grab a couple of blocks or maybe some pillows and nestle them into the hip flexors to get some more compression right inside the acetabulum. Place some blocks in front of you and then fold forward. Reach your elbows onto those blocks and press your hands together as you guide them skyward, opening the chest, stretching the shoulders, connecting to your awareness and the vastness around you. Letting go of the tension within the shoulders, within the mind, just bake here in this sweet release. Let's sit up on the knees. Lunge the right leg forward. 
bring some awareness to how this side may be completely different from your other side or not. Just honor its uniqueness. Coming into your dragon, as you make any modifications, inhale and open the hip and the groin and exhale, find a softness as you gently guide your body back into your natural rhythms and trusting the pose to open the body. Again, you are more than welcome to use a block here and place it under your thigh or a pillow. Just do what feels good. Okay, take the hips back as you straighten the front leg and bend the back leg. Standing on the back knee, lower the hips to the earth and fold the left leg in front. Let's open up the back of the right leg as you float your chest forward over the leg or over a block. Move really slowly here, giving your body a sense of safety as you slowly explore this side of the body.
Okay, let's come on up to a seat. Crisscross your legs, move onto your knees, lift your hips up and navigate your heels outward. Then lower your hips in between your feet. We're moving into a straddle. Let's just take a beat here and just pause. Stay upright and connect to how the body feels. Notice restrictions, areas of spaciousness and tightness. Use your breath and explore. Then possibly choose to recline. I'm adding two blocks behind me to release the front body into a back bend. And once you find your expression, inhale, and reach the arms overhead, breathe into the heart and lungs, exhale and find the serenity.
Let's gradually lift the body up. Crisscross your legs, move onto your knees, lift your hips up, tuck the toes under. I'm adding a ball between the feet, but you are welcome to use a block or, or no prop at all. This helps to transfer the weight across the metatarsal head and turn on your inner arches. Feel the inseams of the foot lift. Notice if there's any sharp edges. Grab your strap again, hold it between your hands, and then take your arms up like goalpost arms, opening the heart, spreading through the collarbones. Take an inhale, spread open through the chest. Exhale and root through the feet energy. You might want to take your knee up on a prop, a little bit higher to transfer the weight out of the feet. So play with this posture. Okay, for the second half of this pose, let's release the arms, maybe grab a couple of blocks, and we're going to take the hands in front of us, reaching your fingertips towards your body, then lengthen through the arms, keeping the arms straight and towards each other, and bring the heel of the hand either into the earth, or you can bring them onto a block for some delicious wrist decompression. Release the hands and the feet. Let's have a seat and set up for a bridge butterfly. 
I'm going to give you several options here, so play with them. First, let's keep one block behind you. Bring the soles of the feet together and then lie back so that one block is between your shoulder blades. Then lift the hips up for the second block or you can add two blocks underneath the hips. See how that feels. And then if you choose to, my favorite option today is using two blocks stacked horizontally for my hips and two blocks stacked vertically between the shoulder blades. So experiment with getting the blocks right where you need them and then just dissolve back into this grand expression, opening the inner thighs, the hips, the solar plexus, the heart and adding some nice compression to the back side of the body.
Okay, friends, when you are ready, roll off the blocks and let's come into our final posture. Shavasana. Friends, if you want to take a little bit longer in this final posture, please stay here. If you are ready to come on up and close your practice with me, gently deepen the breath, bring some movement into the fingers and the toes, create some awareness of your body and the energy around you. When you're ready, gently squeeze your knees in towards your chest, roll yourself into a nice little ball, and then come on over to one side, come up to a seated posture. Just take a moment to tune into your body, notice any shifts. I hope your legs feel rejuvenated and your body is replenished radiating your beautiful love bring your hands to your heart center om shanti 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 namaste namaste friends thank you so much for being here with me on the mat today and shining your beautiful energy if you like this video feel free to subscribe to body illumination to see more videos like this and help the channel grow I'd love to hear from you, so please comment below. That also supports the growth of the channel so I can continue to make more videos. Follow Body Illumination and me, Rebecca, on bodyillumination.com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Have an illuminating day, my friends. Namaste.